Hello, I'm Sarah and I'm going to show you some of the trickier bits of building the Cheeky Monkey. So the first stage of building the Cheeky Monkey is the handle and the shaft that drives the model and the base of the model. So when you've made the handle and it'll look like this, the trick is to let that dry for a nice long time. Just make sure that that glue has gone really hard and dry before you start doing anything more. So that's really, really important. Leave that plenty long enough to dry. The other trick I want to show you is when you put the side on the base, which is one of the very first stages, bit of glue on the bottom, you start off by just putting the one side on, not both of them, but you can use the second side to make sure that that is nice and square. So I'm just using that to make sure that this piece is square and straight on the base. And then I can take it away. Okay, when the handle is dry and the glue has gone hard, we put it through the side of the base and we start putting the next few components on. I'm turning this around as I go because it spreads the glue evenly around the joint. Now, when it comes to putting the next uh, set of components on, what we need to try and do here is to get them in line with each other as straight as possible so they match each other what you don't want is for it to look like that you want these two circles here to match each other and be perfectly in line so that when it goes round there's an even movement right when we've got the mechanism done underneath and we've got the two sides on it's time to put the top on so this piece is the little seat that the monkey sits on and that goes on top there. Now it's at this stage that you need to decide whether you want to make it a left-handed model or a right-handed model because this will be the front of the model and that will be the back of the model. So you need to decide whether you want it to work that way round or work that way round, depending on whether you want to turn it from the left or the right. So I'm going to keep this a right-handed model and put the top on accordingly. Now, before you finish this stage, make sure that the little flat stick coming up through here is through that slot so that when you turn the handle around you can see it going up and down through the slot in the top because once that glue is dry you won't be able to uh, you won't be able to do that okay so the fun you can have with the little monkey is to give him individual expression so you can put the arms and the legs and the head in different positions so you can have each monkey doing something differently so here's one monkey just on his own, bringing his hands up in front of his mouth. And here we have three all connected together with different gestures and different head angles. So I'll show you how to do that and how to connect them together. So here are the leg pieces. We've got the leg, the ankle joint and the foot. And I can put these at any angle and in different positions. So I'm going to put the leg onto the body like that. So it's good to try it without any glue while you decide what sort of position you might want it in. And when you've done that, you can put some glue in the joints
and set his foot and his leg in the position you want it in. You might need to just stand and hold it for a minute, few minutes just to let the glue set um, because it hasn't got a pegged joint, it's just uh, one shape fitting into another. Um, so just hold it there for a minute until you think the glue is starting to go off. Okay, now we've got the legs in position. He's sitting nice and comfortably with his legs crossed. We're going to see how we want to show the arms and the head. So if we just put the arms on loosely without any glue to start with, while we decide what position we want to put them in, and see where the movement is. So they're going up and down. Now, do we want to raise them a bit higher? So they're near his, nearer his face. And do we want to put the head on its side? Do we want to dip it down or do we want to lift it up? So decide where you want to put the head and what sort of expression you want to give your monkey. So if we just put a bit of glue inside his neck, and I think this time we will just turn his head a little bit to the side. And we'll put the hands on. Again, I'm going to try it first without any glue and see where I want them. I think I'm going to make this monkey hide his eyes and play a game of peepo. But there he goes. Okay, now I'm ready to put the hands on. Just put a little bit of glue on the wrists. And you can put them at whatever angle you like. I think I'll make that arm a little bit higher. So both hands are covering his face at the same time. Now, if you want to connect more than one model together, if you see those two pieces there on either side, we use a little pin to go in that side and then when we bring them together they lock into each other so that you can drive both at the same time. Now you'd need to glue those two bases together so they can't wobble about but that's how you make them go together at the same time. Now you can just have two connected like that or you can have all three connected all with three different expressions and three different positions for their arms and legs and then you've got a model that gets a lot more interesting and a lot more fun.